Hi everyone and welcome for a new video. So in this painting demo video, I'm going to show you how I've made this piece. So this work of art is inspired by a piece of jewelry that I saw on Instagram a few months ago. It was like an opal ring jewelry and I wanted to have the gold sides as you saw here. Without further ado, let's start the video. So here I'm using a little piece of MDF and I've cut it to get some nice live edges, sides and I've prepped it with gesso and some paste to get a really smooth uh, finish. Then I'm going to paint it with acrylic paint and as always I'm going to use my greenish blue from Amsterdam white black little bit of green you will see uh, at the end of the video i will not use as much color uh, for this one so i'm going to start by making my first coat of paint and since since i want my piece to get really smooth i'm going to as you see here blend really well my colors together so i don't have any brush strokes showing here i'm painting another coat of blue and white on top of the first one just to get a nice opaque surface and and have a nice uh, blending effect shadow effect i'm adding more white in the center just so it is more vibrant and we have a nice contrast between the side and the center by the way, I'm using here my new hair tight palette that I've bought in a French art store and I think it is really convenient because you can close you can close it and leave it uh, like a week and open it and your paint is still fresh and moist. So yeah, that's that's a really great advancement. So here I'm making just some little shadows like this. I want it to look like a little labradorite stone and as also as like you see the sky from the ocean and yeah I, I wanted to get this kind of look. I'm applying again some more white in the center because you know white tend to be a little bit transparent and since I'm try to blend it as much as I can you um, it is not as opaque here I'm creating lines some little highlights to get more of like a stone look more of like a labradorite look on certain highlights I'm going to add some fluorescent red this is really subtle but i'd like to get some uh reflective like uh red color and i really like to do this onto my blue pieces here i'm using also some fluor fluorescent color this is the green one and this one is to get a nice turquoise teal color onto my blue I'm adding more shadows here with my little Posca pen, black Posca pen. So this time it is the time where I'm adding the chameleon paint. This is like a color changing pigment that I've mixed with some binder and we get a nice transparent paint with just the shiny pigment in it. I'm adding here my gilding paste. This is the gold leaf glue that I've used all the time. This one is from PBO. You can have some other brands. It's It works well. You just need to really focus on applying just on the side. So if you want to have the full video with all of the products mentioned and all of the details, you can now subscribe to my Patreon page it's a monthly subscription that you can cancel at any time and you will have uh, multiple videos on how to do 
the gold lines like this the 3d gold lines how i mix my paint what what all of the brand that i use on my art videos here i'm using a little soft brush by the way i hope you've seen it but i use a makeup brushes to blend my paint and i think it works like magic i've used it in my previous artwork and yeah now i continue using it after applying two coats of varnish in onto my piece, I'm going to now glue it into a little black frame. It looks really precious and it makes the gold lines pop. Just before the video is ending, I'm going to say a huge thank you to all of my patrons here who help the channel, who support my art and help me grow and continue as an artist here on Instagram and on YouTube. And if you're still here, thank you for watching this video. I wish you all a great day and let's see finish it piece. Bye. Bye guys.